It's a mid mic daily bite. 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 Welcome to Mid Mic Crisis Daily Bite. I'm Bunchu, joined by my digital doppelganger, Chamber. Today, we're talking about AI clones. Chamber, ready to meet your digital twin? Listen, Bunch, I, I'm not sure the world is ready for two of me. Uh, one's already pushing it, but let's dive in. What's the deal with these AI clones? Well, imagine having a digital version of yourself that can interact with others, even when you're asleep or busy. Uh, it's like having a personal assistant that thinks exactly like you. Hold up, are you saying I could have an AI version of myself watching Lakers games while I sleep? Not quite, Chamber. These AI clones are more about mimicking your thinking and communication style. They could potentially mentor students or preserve your memories for future generations. So my great grandkids could chat with AI Chamber about the glory days of LeBron James. That's both amazing and terrifying. Exactly. It's pretty game-changing stuff. Imagine being able to ask your great-grandfather about his life experiences or get advice from a historical figure. Yeah, but knowing my luck, I'd probably get stuck talking to AI Napoleon about his favorite pizza toppings. Wee oui, wee, oui, I like the pineapple on my pizza. I'm pretty sure Napoleon would be more of a meat lover's pizza guy. Uh, you know, compensating for something. But let's focus on the tech here. These AI clones use advanced language models and personal data to create a digital replica of your personality and knowledge base. Are we talking about my browser history here? Because I'm not sure I want my AI clone knowing about my late night Bigfoot documentary binges. Don't worry, Chamber. It's more about your writing style, speech patterns, and knowledge. Although your Bigfoot obsession might actually make your AI clone more authentic. You know, I've been experimenting with AI in my daily routine. Just yesterday, I had an AI write a bedtime story for my kids about a pizza-loving dinosaur named Calphosaurus. Let me guess. This dinosaur had huge calves and a freakishly wide tongue. Sounds like a self-insert fan fiction to me, Bunch. Very funny. Uh, at least my AI clone won't be obsessed with a non-existent Sinbad genie movie. Speaking of which, how's that search going? Ah, uh, listen... Uh, it's out there somewhere. My AI clone will probably find it while I'm sleeping. But seriously, what are the downsides to this technology? Well, there are significant privacy concerns. Plus, it raises questions about human legacy and the nature of consciousness. Is an AI clone really you or just a sophisticated imitation? That's deep, Bunch. It's like that old philosophical question. If a tree falls in the forest and only AI chamber hears it, does it make a sound? I'm pretty sure that's not how that question goes, but I appreciate the effort. Let's talk about some potential applications of this technology. One interesting use could be in education. Imagine having an AI tutor that adapts to each student's learning style and can be available 24 seven. Yeah, hold on a second. Are you saying we could have an AI version of Ms. Frizzle from the Magic School Bus? Well, not exactly, but Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. An AI Ms. Frizzle could make learning pretty wild. But it does make me wonder about the future of education for my kids. Will they be learning from AI teachers more than human ones? I'm sure your boys will still need human teachers. Someone's got to explain why their dad has a freakishly wide tongue. Hey, this tongue is a gift. It's like having a built-in pizza shovel. But back to AI clones, they could also be used in healthcare, providing personalized mental health support. Great. So now I can have an AI therapist tell me my Sinbad genie movie obsession is unhealthy. I'm not sure I'm ready for that level of personal attack. Joking aside, it could be really beneficial for people who need constant support or live in areas with limited access to mental health professionals. You're right. That is pretty amazing. But I can't help wondering about the long-term effects on human relationships. Will we start preferring our AI clones to real people? That's a valid concern. It's something we'll need to navigate carefully as this technology develops. We don't want to lose the value of genuine human connection. Speaking of human connection, it's time for our new segment, Artificial Unintelligence. Got any good AI fails for us today? Actually, I do. I asked an AI to generate an image of a hand with six fingers, and it gave me a hand with seven fingers. I guess counting isn't its strong suit. I guess even AI needs to brush up on its math skills. 
All right, let's wrap this up. AI clones, exciting potential, but we need to be cautious. Any final thoughts, Chamber? Yeah, I'm both excited and terrified. But mostly, I'm wondering if my AI clone will finally be able to grow a decent beard. A man can dream, right? Dream big, Chamber. That's it for today's Mid Mic Daily Bite. Until next time, stay mid. It's the Mid Mic Daily Bite. It's the Mid Mic Daily Bite. It's the Mid Mic Daily Bite. It's the Mid Mic Daily Bite.